figuring out the network essentials can get overwhelming. So let's make it simple. In this video, we'll be focusing on the basics of LAN and WAN, as well as their main differences. Before we dissect our topic, I want to mention that to understand LAN and WAN, you should be familiar with the differences between private and public IP addresses. So in case you're not, we suggest checking out our video on that topic as well. A local area network, or LAN for short, supports communication between devices grouped together by a router. For example, home computers, TVs, printers, and so on. Think of LAN as a small get-together of a friend group. The router creates a LAN network and becomes the host of a local area network party. It connects all party guests like laptops, computers, or CCTV cameras, and creates private IP addresses for each of them, kind of like giving each of your friends their own nickname. Each router creates its own party with its own guests and nicknames. These nicknames or private IP addresses can actually repeat in other parties hosted by different routers. But that's okay, since the parties aren't connected to one another. So, communication between devices of different LANs can't happen without additional configurations or third-party devices. However, if, for example, a CCTV camera wants to send a video file to a remote server from a different LAN network, this has to be done over the internet. That's where Wide Area Network, or WAN, gets involved. WAN is a larger scale network that groups together several LANs. Often referred to as the Internet, WAN is a network that not always but most commonly requires public IP addresses. Why? To allow communication between devices that belong to different LAN networks. So let's come back to that CCTV camera. Because it wants to send a video file to a server from a different LAN, the router, as a great party host, takes care of that. It transfers the video file to a server via WAN using a public IP address. If a receiving server wants to send something back, the router delivers it to the CCTV camera. Basically, WAN allows different remote LANs to connect and exchange information with one another. We hope this wasn't too difficult. If you'd like to know more about Network Essentials, check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for more useful content.